A good morning for today's recording. We're looking at Warwick Farm Race 4. And you'll see that it's a listed Bruce race. It's the Frank Underwood Cup. Okay, if you look at the wind form ratings for this race, we've got Moriarty rated at $2.70. It's our top rated horse. Number 7, King Utah, is rated $3. Third horse in this race, Ward, is rated as a $10 chance by us. Okay, just a little bit about the horses. Let's look at the form of Moriarty. And you'll see that last start it ran second to Cantonese. That was last Saturday. Only beaten one and a quarter lengths. Was beaten uh, just under two lengths at the previous start. But he won three in a row before that. No doubting the form of this selection. We look at the next horse, King Utah. Two starts ago, up one at Warwick Farm. I won that by three quarters of length. Then last start went up to Eagle Farm, was second, beaten just over two lengths on what turned out to be a slow track. Okay, this horse has been around the world as you can see and he's trained by a trainer Wilkes up at Port Macquarie. He does have um, the inform jockey uh, Alan on board today and he's going particularly well. So we've got our selections and in these circumstances, as you'll read in my new book, Winning Your Only Option, you'll find that we win 50% of these races or more and make a level stakes profit. Now how do we do that? Okay, we're looking to the IAS Bet website where they're offering fixed prices already for Saturday and we find that Moriarty is available at $2.80 a fixed price. Okay, so suppose we want to take out $100 on the race, we divide $2.80 into 100 and that tells us that we need to place $36 on Moriarty in order to return $100. Our other horse, King Utah, is $13.00. And to put our bet on this horse, we've got to divide 100 by 13. And that's only going to cost us uh, $8 to the nearest dollar. So we put $8 on King Utah. And we put $36 on this horse. So that's $44 altogether. And what that amounts to is a return of $100 if we get the winner. And a profit of $56. There's nothing wrong with that. Now it may well be the case that King Utah being one of the outsiders in the field, will be available at a better price um, going for the best of three totes. In that case, you would click this option. You still only have your $8, but if the horse uh, paid, say, $15, $16, that would give us an extra $20 or so as part of our profit, assuming that either Moriarty or King Utah wins the race. Okay, now just a reminder, that this is about method, not about selecting a winner as such. However, on averages, in this circumstance, we will get the winner at least 50% of the time out of those two top runners. I wish you luck for the weekend. And of course, if you want to read about the method, it's in my book, Winning Your Only Option, which is available on our website by going to the online store at www.horseracingaustralia.info. Good luck.